Hi students, welcome to our first video getting you all set and ready to go for Revision. Revision is our new platform combining both portfolio review and high res under one event. Unfortunately, this year we will not be having those events as we typically do live and on campus. We are having them all through video interviews and virtual rooms through Zoom. I think this is a great opportunity and I'd love to flip the story on this and give you guys the perspective that you're going to be meeting so many more design professionals out there because this is open to anyone and they don't have to be in just the LA area. So let's take full advantage of what's coming up and get you prepared with this first video called Video Interview Etiquette. I want you to understand that there's a big difference between video calls and in-person calls. Through the video call, you are the center of that frame. You're going to be there with just small amounts of your background. So if there's any nervousness, if there's any twitching, if there's any unpreparedness, it's going to show a little bit and it's going to be mag a magnified for sure. So we want to make sure we eliminate that completely and we get you guys so confident to have a real successful interview with these reviewers. How are we going to do that? Well, let's get into it. I've got some tips and some suggestions to help you there. Number one. Think about your location. Make sure that the room that you're doing this in is very appropriate. It's not in a bathroom. It's not outside. There's nothing noisy. Cluttered backgrounds are obviously distracting, so make sure you've cleared yourself from anything like that, and you want to just keep it as professional as possible. That's the goal. You want to look like our girl here on the left, like you've prepared, you've got a clean environment, and you're ready to go, and you look professional. You don't want to look like our dude here on the right who looks like he just woke up, fired up his laptop, and he's just joining in a conversation. You want to make this look like you are super excited and ready to go and thankful for them to come on board and take care of this interview and take their time to volunteer. Also with your location, you want to make sure that that atmosphere is super inviting. Don't have any direct sunlight hitting you on the face or maybe particularly if you're wearing eyeglasses. That glare can be very distracting. Look around behind you, make sure that your wall art is very appropriate for the situation, and also pets, children, and maybe even your parents are out of the way so you can command this interview and have a very successful time. Number two, you wanna make sure you're dressing to impress. Treat this video interview the same way you would any professional in-person interview. I say business professional dress is a must, and don't forget to wear appropriate pants definitely completing your outfit. You don't want to be caught wearing pajamas or sweats beneath that suit jacket if for any reason you have to get up and reveal that you are not wearing a complete suit. So just a tip, I would say, make sure you're ready. You want to look like, again, our girl here on the left. She looks ready to go, prepared. She's looking at you going, let's do this. You don't want to look like the uncaring guy on the right who has just fired up his laptop as well, is wearing a hoodie, can kind of care less about the situation. Show that you really appreciate these people taking the time to help you out. Also, some tips, I would say dark pants with a collared shirt for men, dark pants with a blouse for women, jackets, blazers are obviously recommended, and avoid those busy prints as they can be very, very distracting to the reviewer. Number three is your interruptions. You want to make sure that there are no interruptions from technology around you. Make sure to close and pause and even disable all chat programs, anything that would ping with a notification for the duration of your interview. And that goes for your cell phone, your tablets, your laptop, anything that's around you that could do that. You just don't want any surprise notifications happening. Number four, be as prepared as you can. Now this goes without saying, but these little things here can definitely help you be confident so when you're firing up that first interview, you know you have all your ducks in a row. So create that PDF presentation of all your work and have that ready. Think about videos or anything embedded in vision files, something that would be off of that, have that ready to go and loaded so there's no drag, there's no lag with any of that. Check your internet connection as well. You want to make sure it's strong and it's doing well and you'll have a successful meeting with your reviewer. Use Adobe Acrobat. I always think it's just a preference, not preview, to present your PDF and go to the full screen mode by just hitting Command L and you'll have edge to edge uh, on the screen for your artwork and presentation. We also know too, technical issues, glitches, things like that will happen and can happen. Just always remember if it does, and even if you're accidentally disconnected, 
Just take a breath, take a pause, sign back on, apologize, and be ready to go. There should be no problem there, and our reviewers know this is the way it is, and that could definitely happen. Another note, have a notepad. Have a pencil or a pen next to you as well. It's always great to take notes. They will really appreciate that as well. So in general, the best thing you can do beyond all of this is just practice. Practice obviously makes perfect, and we want you guys to be as polished and ready to go. So here are a few tips when it comes to being ready and practice. Make sure that you've written out any answers to those common questions that you hear. Things like, tell me about yourself, or where do you see yourself in five years? Practice them, answer them, and have them ready to go. It's always good to be a little prepared on some of those key questions that you might be asked. Review your work backwards and forwards. Know everything about those projects. Be prepared to answer any question regarding what you've chosen, what solution you've brought to the table, what was the objective for the project, different fonts and color choices. Be ready to go, have a reason, have a perspective, know what you're talking about. Also, have a printout of your resume handy. You'll never know when you need to refer to it for any bit of information if asked. So have it on hand, be ready to go. Also too, I always say this, re rehearse this presentation out loud with either family or friends. Go over it a few times, be prepared and ready so it's not the first time when you're sitting down with the reviewer for your very first appointment. All right guys, we know you got this. We really, really do. Good luck with this. We'll follow up with a few more videos in the future. Thanks so much.